Hello all. Today we are going to find out the RNS configuration in spirane system and uh, allene system. Okay, this is allene system. Why it is known as allene? In your lower classes, you would have studied that there are three types of uh, dienes. Okay, dienes. If uh, the dienes are present adjacent position, they are present in the adjacent position. Okay, it is known as allenes. Okay, allenes or cumulated alkenes. Okay, cumulated alkenes. So, if the double bond is present, okay, if the double bond is present in alternate position, double bond, single bond, double bond, again, again single bond, double bond in the sense, it should be known as um, conjugated diene. Okay, it is known as conjugated diene. See, if the two double bonds are present uh, continuously, it is known as the allenes or cumulated alkenes. If it is present in an alternate manner, double bond, single bonds, then it is known as conjugated diene. Okay, conjugated diene or conjugated polyenes. Okay, now if suppose the double bond is present in the one corner and after that you have uh, two sigma bonds and after that you are having a double bond, these are isolated, right? These two double bonds are isolated by more than one sigma bond. Here you have two sigma bonds. If the two double bonds are separated by one sigma bond, it is known as conjugated diene. If the two sig double bonds are separated by more than one sig sigma bond, it is known as isolated diene. Okay, isolated diene. These are all the classifications. Hence, these compounds are known as allenes because the double bonds are accumulated, right? They are present continuously hence it is known as allene system okay this is the basic introduction about the allenes now in this case it is very simple i am not i am not going to confuse you because i have a trick okay so in order to find out the rns configuration in spirane system and allene system there is a trick everyone will say that you have to look by this side which groups are present and you have to convert them into fisher projection and after that you have to find out the rns configuration no actually i am going to give you a simple trick okay so if you follow that trick it will be very easy to find out the rns configuration in spirane system and allene system see what you have to do is first of all you have to look for the uh, groups that are present on the plane okay the groups that are present on the plane how will you uh, identify that the groups are present on the plane it is represented by a solid line okay only solid line uh, which means it is above the plane and dash means it is below the plane so you have to look for the groups that are present on the plane okay this is the first step you have to do now so between these two which will have Higher atomic number, it is iodine, right? Hence, iodine should be given the first priority, right? After that, bromine. So, first of all, you have to give the priorities the, to the groups that are present on the plane. Now, after giving the priorities to the groups that are present on the plane, you have to go for the this side, okay? Now, you have to give the priority to them. Now, the first priority or you can name it as 3 also, okay? I am giving 3 and 4. So, after giving the priorities, you have to rotate and shake, okay? From 1, 2, 3. It is anti-clockwise direction, hence it should be S. But the same rule as that of the flying wedge configuration, the fourth priority group should always present in the dashed position. That is, the fourth priority group should present below the plane, okay? If it is not present in the uh, dashed position, that is if it is not in below the plane, then you have to invert the configuration. If you are getting S configuration, just invert it and this is R configuration. This is how you have to find out the RNS configuration in allene system. Okay. I think it is easy. Okay. So, this is a very short trick. No need to focus that, uh, no need to focus and no need to convert the configuration into Fisher projection and after that you have to find out. You see, this is, this is very simple, okay. So, similarly, if you look for this one, second one, in this case, you first of all, you have to look for the groups that are present on the plane, right? C4H9, C3H7. You have to give the priority to C4H9 because it will have higher atomic mass, okay. Now, this is second priority and after that, you have to look for this side. Here it is 3 and it is 4. Now, from 1, 2, 
3 you have to rotate it is anti clockwise direction so it should be s but after that you have to check for the fourth priority group the fourth priority group is present with the dash to position so no need to invert the configuration it is simply s configuration okay either is s and this is r i hope it is uh, easy for you now in this case this is not optically active one first of all to be optically active to, okay to be optically active the arlenes should have even even number of double bonds okay even number of double bonds right this is the first rule say in this case you are having three double bonds if uh, they are giving you three double bonds and asking you to find out the rns configuration you cannot find out okay you cannot predict the rns configuration because the substance is optically inactive okay this one is optically inactive right so you can eliminate this option sometimes they will ask in the question like which of the following are optically active or optically inactive so if uh, they are giving you some odd number of double bonds okay odd number of double bonds then that particular substance will be optically inactive okay you should always have even number of double bonds if the substance is having even number of double bonds only you can find out the rns configuration okay this is the first one and the second thing is it should not have the same group on one side for example in this case we are having even number of double bonds okay so you should not directly uh, check rns configuration you have to look for the second rule same group this is also hydrogen this is also hydrogen they are present on the same side right then that particular substance will be optically inactive you should not have the same group okay same groups two groups on the same side right you should not have two groups on the same side if you have like that then particular compound will be optically inactive right these are the two rules so if you know these things you can easily predict the rns configuration in alenes and spiranes now it is very simple see first of all what you have to look for even number of double bonds okay first rule is satisfied and next the two groups are different right it is ethyl it is methyl and it is nitro it is oh so okay this is also satisfied this rule is also okay now you have to find out the rns configuration because this is optically active then you have to look for the rns configuration so what you have to do first of all you have to look for the plane okay the groups that are present on the plane here it is ethyl and methyl so this is first one this is second one now between these two this is nitrogen atom this is oxygen atom so the priority should be given to this group okay now rotate and check one two three okay so it is anti clockwise direction right which means it is s configuration okay this is s configuration but the fourth priority group is present above the plane okay it is present in the wedge position so you have to invert the configuration which means this one will have or configuration this is the final one okay this will have or configuration now you look for this you are having even number of double bonds okay this rule is okay now here you have hydrogen chlorine fine but in this case you are having methyl groups two methyl groups on the same side then that particular substance will be optically inactive okay this is optically inactive this is how you have to find out the optical activity in spiranes and alenes you should not have odd number of double bonds you should not have same groups on one side okay these are the two rules that you should keep in your mind in order to find out the optical activity and rns configuration okay now the previous year question that they have asked in the salinas this question has been asked in gate 2010 okay gate 2010 so what will be the rns configuration for this this is the question for you okay this is the question for you so you have to find out the rns configuration for this compound and share your answer in the comment section okay what will be the configuration for this uh, alene system right the same rules will be followed for spirene systems also right so we have seen the rns configuration in alene system now it is for spirene system why it is known as spirene system because see in this case it looks like spiral right it looks like a spiral hence the system is known as spirene system okay it is known as spirene system the same rules okay to find out the rns configuration the rules that we applied for alenes is also applicable to spirene system hence it is very simple we can easily solve all the questions right so first of all 
for this compound this compound is optically active first of all you have to look for the optical activity then only you can uh, check the rns configuration okay so by just seeing the molecule you can find out that this compound contains odd number of spirines okay odd number of spirin hence this is optically inactive okay because you should have even number okay you should have only even number here in this case it is odd hence it's optically inactive okay you can't predict rns configuration in this compound so it is uh, optically inactive and uh, next to see in this case uh, everything is okay it has even number of double bonds okay so the two groups present on the same side are different hence you can check the rns configuration now what you have to do you have to first of all look to the groups that are present on the plane okay on the plane so iodine will be given the first priority then no2 then here in the side 3 it is 4 now you have to rotate it is anti clockwise direction right it should be s the fourth priority group is present on the dashed position so no need to invert the configuration it is simply s configuration okay 1 2 3 anti clockwise and fourth priority group is present on okay below the plane okay this is s configuration right now see in this case it is having even number of uh, spirin okay it is okay first rule is satisfied now what you have to look for the two groups present on the one side is same these two are hydrogens hence this compound is also optically inactive compound you can't predict rns configuration here okay it is optically inactive one next here okay you have to look for this one bromine one chlorine two and um, here oxygen three one two three it is r configuration okay because it is clockwise direction hence it is r configuration the fourth priority group is present below the plane so no need to invert the configuration it is simply r okay now you have to find out the rns configuration for these two okay for these two you have to find out and share your answers in the comment section already i have given you the previous question that has been asked in gate okay so for that question and these two questions you have to find out the rns configuration and share your answers i hope this video will be helpful for you if you find this video helpful then kindly like this video and share with your friends stay tuned thank you so much for watching